Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Microsoft Word shortcut keys. So this video contains a list of Microsoft Word shortcut keys. Okay, first one is Control plus A. So it is used for selecting all the contents in a particular page or document. Suppose we are uh, opening a particular document. On that document, we are typing some information. Okay, suppose we want to select all the information in a particular page. We want to use a key called Control plus A. Okay, or suppose there are uh, five pages text is there. Suppose you are there in a particular second page. Suppose you want to select page number two information. For that purpose, we have to use control plus A key. Okay, next one, control plus B. This command is used for bold the highlighted selected text. Okay, whatever the text that we are select, that text can be highlighted in a bold fashion. Okay, bold fashion means that information can be displayed in a thick letters. Thick. Okay, so for that purpose, we have to use control plus B key. So, this command is used to bold the highlighted selection or highlighted text. Okay, whatever the text that we are select, that text can be displayed in a bold fashion. Okay, next one, control plus C. So, this key is used for copy the selected text. Whatever the text that you are selected, to copy the selected text, we have to use a key called Ctrl plus C. Next one, Ctrl plus X. So this key is used to cut the selected text. Okay, whatever the text that we have selected in a particular page or document, suppose you want to cut that uh, selected text, we have to use a command or key called control plus X. Okay. What is the difference between these two? So this command or key is used to copy the selected text. Whatever the text that we have selected in a particular page or document, to copy that document, we have to use control plus C. Okay. To cut the highlighted or selected text, you have to use the control plus X. Okay, next one, control plus N. So this command or key is used to open a new or blank document. Okay, suppose we want to open a uh, particular new document. So for that purpose, we have to use a control plus N key or command. Okay, next one, control plus O. So, this key is used to open the options in a particular document or page. Next one, control plus P. This command or key is used to open the print window. Okay, suppose we want to print a particular document or page we have to use a command called control plus P. Whenever we are uh, press the control plus P, uh, open a printed window. Okay, so this printed window, print window is open. On that print window, we have to give some options. Next one, control plus F. This command or key is used to open the find box. Okay, so a find box is open. Suppose you want to search a particular word in a page or document. For that purpose, we have to use a command called Ctrl plus F. It opens the find box. Okay, next one, Ctrl plus I. So 
this command or key is used to italicize the highlighted selection okay whatever the text that is highlighted or selected for that highlighted text can be shown in italic fashion for that purpose we have to use control plus i italicize the highlighted selection next one control plus k so this command or key is used to insert the hyperlink okay this hyperlink can be shown in blue color so whenever we are at type whenever we are uh, pressing that uh, hyperlink it can goes to another page next one control plus u so this command is used to underline the highlighted selection whatever the uh, text that we are selected so that text can be underlined by using this command control plus u command next one control plus b so this command is used to paste the selected text okay whatever the copy the selected text or cut the selected text so we, we want to paste the selected text in a particular page we have to use this command or key control plus v next one control plus y so this command or key is used to redo the last action performed suppose one action is performed previously okay suppose you want to perform the action again we have to use this command control plus y next one control plus z so this command or key is used to undo the last action performed okay whatever the action that is performed recently to undo the last action performed for that purpose we have to use command control plus z now what is the difference between them it is used for redo the again we have to perform redo the last action performed so this is undo the last action performed okay next one control plus g this command or key is used to find and replace options suppose you want to find a particular uh, name or particular word in a page or a document so for that purpose we have to use find okay suppose you want to replace the selected text for that purpose we have to use replace for find and replace options we have to use a command called control plus g next one control plus h is also same find and replace options for find and replace options we have to use either this command or this command control plus g or control plus h next one control plus j so this command or key is used to justify the paragraph okay so to justify the paragraph we have to use uh, this command control plus j okay so this command is this command is used for alignment purpose okay so a paragraph is to be aligned we have to use this command control plus j next one control plus l align the selected text or line to the left okay suppose uh, we suppose we are uh, selected a particular text okay or line so to align that uh, selected text or line to the left we have to use control plus l okay next one control plus g e. align selected text or line to the center okay next control plus r align the selected text or line to the right okay so these four commands are used for alignment purpose left alignment right alignment center alignment uh, justify alignment for justify alignment we have to use control plus j for uh, left alignment control plus l for uh, center alignment control plus e for right alignment control plus r okay so these commands are used for aligning the selected text or line to the center to the left to the right 
or justified. Okay, next one control plus M. So this command or key is used to indent the paragraph. Okay, indent means the total paragraph can be moved to particular uh, column or line. Okay, for that purpose we have to use control plus M. Next one control plus D. This command or key is used to display the font options. Font options means what font we have to use, what is the size of that font, uh, whether that font can be underlined or italicized. For that purpose, we have to use Ctrl plus D. Display the font options. Okay. Next one, Ctrl plus D, hanging indent. Indent for uh, indent option, for indent uh, the paragraph. So, th for that one, hanging that indent, we have to use a command control plus T. Next one control plus S. So this command is used to save the document or page. Okay. For that purpose, we have to use control plus S command or key. Okay. 